So to answer your question, no, if you vote Democrat as a Christian, I think you can, you can no longer call yourself a Christian. You have to call yourself something else. I do not think you could be a Christian and vote Democrat. That's a good answer. So listen, you got Democrat friends <laughs> claiming to be Christians. Pray for them. Witness to them. Brother, come on. And that goes for the brothers and sisters in the audience clapping at this nonsense. Charlie Kirk at the Freedom Conference there for Turning Point USA when he was asked by Pastor John Paul Randall. Some people like Jenna Ellis agree, okay? Has she gotten her legal bills paid for yet? Because she is on X saying that is correct. It is not correct, Jenna, okay? And then you should really think again and get back to basics, but I don't want to pick on her. She's just going through enough. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. Um, but many people slammed him, slammed Kirk, okay? And let's just go through a little bit. I, I don't know the Bible inside and out, but, but for people who are interested, whether you believe or not, the teachings of Republican Jesus, this is a good illustration. Feed only those that look like us and pass the drug test. Sounds about right. If they are in need and our strangers deport them, the rich and powerful shall inherit the earth. Is Jesus holding a, a rifle? What is that? An assault rifle? Kind of seems like it. And I don't remember Jesus having the American flag draped over his shoulder. I don't remember Jesus looking like that either. Not in my house, but whatever. Uh, hey, if you get hit, hit back harder. Blessed shall be those who take away health care from the sick and the meek. So, you know, if you define Christianity as something else, maybe, maybe it's true. Alternative facts, uh, different this set of findings, if you will. Um, Eric Michael Garcia says, you know, who are the most consistent Democratic voters? Black people who, as a demographic, have a higher church attendance rate than white people. Okay, okay. And then if you put up the attendance at religious services by race and ethnicity, I guess this, this matters, it's telling in some way. 47% blacks, 34% whites, shouldn't surprise anyone since Kirk recently slammed one of the most famous black religious figures, MLK Jr. Charlie Kirk, Martin Luther King Jr. is not worthy of a national holiday. And didn't we already take care of this? Even Arizona had to get on board. Not worthy of godlike status. In fact, I think it's really harmful. I think Charlie Kirk is harmful. But the reason Jordan and I said that this whole thing about, uh, if, you know, you're not a Christian if you vote Democrat, or Donald Trump saying you're not Jewish, you know, if you, I think that they are getting away with it because they're brazen. But also because, and I've heard it, I've heard it on the Sunday shows. Other Republican representatives said, well, Joe Biden said it. He said it about black people. If you don't vote for me, then you ain't black. And they think, so they've just taken that little entry in the playbook and they've shifted it to other areas. And it resonates with some people. Am I wrong? No, I, I don't think you're wrong. I think there's danger in talking about any group. As a monolith, I think it's it's racist. It's it's stereotypical. People are complex. People are different. And that's great. We should celebrate that. The idea that one type of person can only be one thing or like one thing or support one thing is just a really dumb way to see the world and see people. So uh, it, it's wrong when when Biden says it. It's wrong when Charlie Kirk says it. Just treat every person as the individual that they are. They're complex, they have interests, they have diverse set of hobbies or beliefs. That's great, that's wonderful. Um, this idea that uh, Democrats and Christians can't vote Democrat or that if you vote, if you don't vote for Biden, you ain't, you ain't black, his quote, I feel weird even saying it. It's just such a weird way to see people and see voters. But unfortunately, it's pretty prevalent, just sweeping generalizations like that. Yeah, as you said, no group is monolithic, and we're allowed to have personal opinions, personal life experience that shapes them. 
People are complicated. Well, most people. I can think of at least one simpleton who's one note. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.